Okay, I want to do a quick introduction to this video. Basically, if you have an 02 through 08 Chrysler Dodge Jeep product and you're experiencing a downstream O2 sensor code, then this video is going to be for you. Hey, the subject vehicle we're using here is an 04 Jeep Liberty. It's got the 37 motor. So anyway, uh, I'm sure you'll find some information in this video that's helpful no matter what your application might be. And we appreciate you watching. Hey, greetings and welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, today we got an 04 Jeep Renegade with the 37 for your viewing pleasure. And the customer came in today with the check engine light. Check our codes here, get the beers connected. It's a manual trans with AC. And stored code P0158. P0158 is a code for the bank two sensor two O2 sensor voltage is high. So the downstream O2 sensors on this, there's two of them, and uh, they should run, be running between 2.5 and 3.5 volts. Uh, so we're gonna open up the data and display those PIDs and, and see where we're at. Okay, I got the vehicle warmed up and running. Let's look at the data here. Nine, <clears throat> pretty steady. Bank one is back up here. Bank one is around three point two four. Climbing up a little bit here. Now we're over 3.5, climbing to 4. So that's, that's going to be a problem when we get that high. We hit it with a little uh, higher RPM. Okay, well I can see where we're fluctuating and, uh, and uh, going up to 3.9 volts, almost 4 volts, uh, at 3.71 now, which is, I believe, above the threshold, maximum threshold that they're uh, going to want to see. And you can definitely see how uh, this Bank 2 Sensor 2 compared to the Bank 1 Sensor 2 is fluctuating and maintaining a much higher voltage and uh, you know the the uh, fuel trims look half decent Let's see uh minus six on bank one Minus one on bank two. So, not seeing a problem there. I think we're going to go take a look at that O2 sensor. All right, I'm going to raise things up here and uh, show you how to identify which side is which on the O2 sensors. Okay, real quickly, bank one is on the left side of the engine. Uh, on the driver's side, and then bank two is on the right side of the transmission area here. And the rear O2 sensor is at the behind the cat, back of the cat, on both sides. 
So uh, one thing you can do, too, is if you have one of those codes, you can always swap the two sensors. They're identical in length and connector uh, from side to side. And then if you get the other code, then uh, you know that's the issue. That's one way to do it. Otherwise, you can um, back probe these connectors. They're a little difficult to get to. Um, so let's see here. So you could identify the signal uh, grounds and power circuits to the individual O2 sensors and use a volt ohm meter. You'll have to get some wiring diagrams uh, that are applicable for your vehicle in order to do that. Um, well, in this case, given the mileage and the fact that I've already replaced the upstream O2 sensors uh, about a year ago, we're going to go ahead and replace both downstream O2 sensors, and then we'll monitor the data after we do that. I'm using these NTK sensors. Uh, this is a part number 23132. couple things to note on this. These particular sensors came with the O2 sensor safe anti-seize already applied to the threads of the O2s. Uh, if they don't come that way, they may come in a little squeeze tube. You want to make sure and apply that on there uh, just around the threads. Also, uh, in the case of the left side, that wiring harness runs real close to the drive shaft and some of the uh, clips that had retained the harness previously were broken. So uh, I went ahead and used some zip ties and secured it up along there so that it doesn't rub on the drive shaft. And make sure your connectors are good and tight. Then we're ready to wrap this thing up and drop it down. Okay, now all there is to do is reset your codes, your long-term fuel adaptives, and we'll go ahead and monitor the downstream O2s and make sure they're functioning properly before we get this one out back on the road. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Please subscribe to our channel, and I wish you good luck with your repairs. Have a good one.